All right, hey guys, now we're on to World 3. I have a straw hat on because uh, I was like AFK, chopping up the video for World 2. So yeah, um, when you're in this hub here, you, you want to go to the left door and uh, go through. Make sure you have your memory card in because you need to save right here. This is where you need to save. This is where you get the most common crash, the 3-1 crash. Uh, you need to save here. You need to, need to, need to save here. So, uh, I know instincts when, you know, in the run, because your default of the no is a spam. But, um, yeah, save here. Now, I'm going to show you why, and hopefully it gives me the crash so I can show you guys that it crashes, right? So, boom, load. It's going to crash on the loading screen. Or, or it's not. But, um, basically, it'll crash on the loading screen. Kind of like the crash that happened uh, in World 2 that you guys saw. Um, do the same thing. But basically, when you're on this level here now, we're on 3-1, you want to get this armor in the box here, then you hit this cutscene. And then I hold left here. Um, you can kill the enemies on the way here if you don't got any meter. Because you actually do need meter coming up to this room here. Go to the left of that bot here. I jump against this bridge to trigger this cutscene right here because you need to do uh, bridge skips. You want to skip these bridges. Boom, skip the one. Try not to get hit by that gentleman. Then boom, you skip two. You can walk past these guys or whatever. And now upcoming here is the Minecraft jump. Now what you we need to do is you need to have a, do a momentum boost off the corner. And then um, delay jump slam. And in the middle of the slam, you can turn off slow-mo. And you hit, there's a trigger up there right above. That you can hit so if you don't have meter or you run out of meter you can hit these enemies there's a, uh, enemies around that spawn when I when I'm gonna fall and uh, you can hit them to gain meter and try again um, I th it definitely saves like a minute plus uh, I'm also gonna show you if you fail uh, where you want to go so you, you go through that door but right now what you want to do is you want to jump on this cage you want to jump on this uh, part of the block right and not fall did I fall during that okay Boom. Toxic Penhead found this and he has a video on it and maybe you can use his setup. So thank you to him. So you want to be on this block here. And what you want to do is you want to slow-mo and then get the frame where you get the boost, the momentum boost. Let's see if I can get it, hopefully. So you see how hard it is. So basically if you fail if you fail it, you know, these enemies spawn right here. You can get more meter. Watch out for this guy, cause uh, that's preventable from getting hit by that. And boom, you can come and try again. I try this. Like I I'm jumping off the. Boom, and there you hit it right there. All right, yeah, I'm gonna cut that in. Don't worry. Um, <laughs> it, it took me a while to get it, but yeah, uh, that's what happens when you hit it. But you know, you don't got safe states like I do. So if you run out of meter. You can hit these guys all around here to get meter back, but if you if you fail it ultimately, you want to go around here, try to double jump over that. He's gonna hit you anyway. But I try to double jump it so he hits me like uh, a little bit forward. Then you go out this room, go to the left here to this elevator. And you continue on. Then you want to double jump over to these boxes because that guy does that force field thing. And you want to double jump over that box. I I, I miss input a jump there. We want to double jump over that box and then continue to this lever. Boom. I hold right here. Keep going up. You don't have to collect relics anymore either. Just to keep that note. And uh, I didn't collect the, the checkpoint there as well for the dialogue. And you can jump on those rails. Get a little bit ahead. Or you can go to the left side of the rails uh, too. That could possibly be faster, but you can shortcut here. Boom, double jump into the cutscene. Alright. And now this cutscene plays. This is a cutscene. You can you can fast forward in the video if you'd like. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a uh, a death trigger phase. And what that means is we're gonna bypass a death trigger by using the bow and arrow in the game, which is the Z button. And so uh if you're falling while you're holding the Z button here, it'll bypass the, the death plane 
and you'll land uh, at the end of at the end of this level at the end of three one. So boom on spawn. You want to go behind here, and what I do is I fall off like right here. I keep my camera up, and I'm gonna show you. Uh, show you. So boom, fall off here. Uh, you you don't want to do it like that. I mean, I I succeeded right there, but what you want to do is you want to hold camera up, fall left. I'm holding a Z as soon as I fall off. And you see that bridge? You see the bridge right there? I aim for the bridge a little bit left to it. And then um, I should land where that bot is. You see that bridge? I, I aim to the left of it. I'm good. Make sure you kill the bot when you land here. Because he'll do that AOE thing and um, knock you off. So once you're down here, you go down here. You do a delay jump on this platform here. You got to make sure it's delayed, right? Or you're going to fall. Delay jump. I line it up like that. Hit this thing. And that's the end of 3-1. It's going to be a cutscene. Of course, you can fast forward this. But they're going to chop it up a little bit. I think this is the same voice actor, by the way. But yeah, that's both the Minecraft jump and the intended route. And the and the death phase trigger. Death trigger phase to complete 3-1 really quickly. Now, I want you to remember that um you're gonna be defaulted to yes because you had to save right before this level so uh be mindful that after this cutscene that you have to go down and press no see you see how i was defaulted to yes you have to go down and press no now you should be good for that now this opens and now we're going to the left hold i'm holding left and we're going to three two Which, uh, this is, uh, the 3-2 is pretty straightforward. Um, you can collect this armor if you need. And, uh, if you don't have any armor, I would collect this. Because, um, you just take random hits like that, right? And instead of it taking your health so that you possibly die, um, uh, it just takes the armor. So, boom, you hit that cutscene. Cut to the right here. I just fall down here. Cut to the left. Boom. Delay jump over here. Watch out for the minion because it could be right in front of you. So I cut this. Cut to the left here some more. And now if you're low health, you can get the sushi here. I do a single jump X. And then usually if I, if I time it right, I can continue forward without stopping and having, having to collect it, right? And yeah, remember, <laughs> make sure you watch out for those guys because they come out the ground and then they block your way. Then you go through this door. Boom, you're good. I'm going to keep holding forward. Hopefully I don't crash again. Knock on wood. And now in this room, you want to start to the right. The right room here, you need to get four keys to unlock the main door. I start with the right most room here because it's the longest to do. So boom, dodge these. Make sure you watch out. Because these guys... I'm going to actually create a save state here so they don't screw me over. But sometimes jumping back over to uh, to that other ledge, um, they block your way. By the way, you don't have to do the slow-mo XA combo anymore since you got the upgrade. You could just do a slow-mo X and I'll kill them in one hit. So boom, you go that, and now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down this well here. There's this hole right here. You can go down this well, and it's gonna it's gonna go to the next key. Boom, straight to the boss here. No bullshit. Slice him once. You're good. Go for the elevator. Boom. Go forward, right to this room. Then you want to cut right here onto the elevator, and then you're gonna cut left. Kill the key bot here. Boom, there he is. He's sometimes annoying here, but it's workable. Boom, collect the key. I cut on this side. Go to this last room right here. This spot's pretty easy because he just stands there most of the time. Collect. Then go to the terminals. Press A on them. Yeah, you want to make sure you're you're pretty close to them to activate the terminals themselves and the door opens save a lot of time if we we'd be able to find a clip you know through this door oh 
Oh, I thought I crashed. I keep getting scared about the crash. So once you spawn in there, continue forward. I go to the left. The left uh, pathing here. You can eat these bullets or dodge them. I single jump over these guys, though. If you try to double jump us, someone will hit you. Watch out for those guys coming out the ground. I collect a checkpoint here. I get the dialogue just to get it out the way. Hit this box if you need any help. Cause, uh, or not help, but health. Because uh, you might need it on the way. Because you passed it like two times after this. You see where Jack's facing, so I'm going to hold forward now to go forward. Uh, try to p pass those guys, but you might need to um, double jump past them. Because, like I said, if you hit, if you like go up against them, it'll just make you stop moving. Boom, get the key bot. Make sure you don't mess up. Slice. Double jump over these guys. Go back ladder and by ladder I mean elevator Make sure you cut off these guys are gonna come out the ground again collect the health right here if you need it I do a single jump over to the key terminal here right here boom and then I wait and then I hold back now sometimes you could uh heal face the other way and this is the end level right here you collect that make sure you know you scan the dialogue you go through now three three which introduces a, another nice little nice little skip we can do, which requires meter. So like you can only try the uh, the full part of the skip once, because if you die with it, if you die from it, then uh you you got the meter removed and you have to do the intended route right. Which I'm gonna show you both here. So what you're gonna do for this trick here is you're gonna you're gonna single jump on this, then double jump, and it, and you know as soon as you press double jump, you want to slow mo for a bit to get on the ledge. And what that's gonna do is uh, allow you to jump, single jump onto that collision up there, and then you want to jump down here in this corner. Uh, you don't want to try to hold uh, right, or you're gonna go back through the wall, right? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to save state and I'm going to show you um, the 3-3 three, three skip found by Toxic Penhead. Thank you for him. And that, that requires another momentum jump here. So boom, you know, you, you fall off and then you jump as you're falling off and you get that momentum in the slow-mo. I can get it. You see how, you see how I fell off there? Hopefully I can get it here, but basically you want to get on that building and get to that lever on the right. You, you see it to my right here of the character. Which, by the way, this is going to take some practice, but you know, it prevents you from having to activate another button, then going up a la up ladders and stuff. So boom, one, two, and then I'm on, and then you can pull. You can pull this right, I'll show you. Boom, be careful because uh, it gets a little wonky here. So don't try to attack anything. Just I, I just go straight down. Delay jump. I try not to attack anything because it might crash you. Because, you know, it, it, it's like wonky. You, you skip pretty much the whole level uh, doing that. Well, you do skip the whole level doing that because you hit this lever. And then the, the end level's right here, right? Hit the lever. Then, boom, it plays a little cutscene of the lava going down for the boss. Boom. And then, you know, you complete the level, right? But let me show you. Um, instead, if you don't want to take this risk here and do that, right? This is what happens if you fail it without the save state. So you'll die in lava here if you don't double jump onto something. And then it's going to spawn you with no meter, which means you'd have to go intended route. But before I show you that, um, if you don't want to take that risk, you can go along here. Delay your jump. Not like that, though. Keep going along here a little bit more. Maybe that corner right there is good. Yep. You want to hit this button down here. And I'll unlock that laser. To go in here. You know, you, you can try to single jump to get some height on that. But you see how buggy it is. And you see how good the armor is, because we got the armor in the beginning of the level, and now it's all gone. 
or at the beginning of the world. You can just go past that. You don't need to hit none of that. Uh, you take a lot of damage, but it's all good. Boom. And then you hit the lever, right? And then you continue, you know, as such. But if you fail it, right? Here, let me, let me fail and die. Then you have to do the intended route, which, which takes longer. So what I would say is if you're just trying to get a PB, um, don't go for that full, the full skip. Just go for the half, you know, slow-mo on top of the collision, uh, single jump on it, hug the corner, and then go to the button near the lava on the ground. Uh, but you know, if you're a risk taker, do it by any means. So we're going to go and attend it. Don't hit this button right here because it's going to play like some kind of cutscene. But what you can do is you, you can like a uh, damage boost past these or, you know, wait or etc. And it's probably better if you had uh, armor, but you can hit the, you can hit the buttons after you pass the first one. So it doesn't give you the cutscene for it and boom and make it a little bit easier. And you can cut those corners on the, on the elevators there. Go to the right, keep hugging the wall here. Try not to hit the, the, the lights or, you know, there's gonna spawn enemies. Hit the button, continue on the lasers. And continue cutting like that, right? Boom. Try not to die like I do sometimes here, it's silly. Boom, and then you get to this lava place. You cut this. Be careful of these shots here, because if, if they if they hit you while you're in the air, they're gonna knock you. All right, boom. Go over here. Yeah, and you see how much that three three skip saves, right? Because you know instead of having to walk all the way over here, you can just <laughs> jump over the the fence and hit that button and see. And we're here, right? Then you hit this button. Boom, I, I hope I don't die. <laughs> Jump back over. And pretty much do intended, right? I wonder if I'll be able to even <laughs> bypass the the lasers here with the slow health. Yeah, definitely not now since he just beamed me. Maybe there's some health in here. Yeah, maybe I'll still be able to, maybe. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save here just in case. Uh, nope. Okay, so, you know, if you're too low health, the, the uh, the lever's right here. I still might not actually survive because I think those, those guys be spitting at me from behind. Oh, no, good. Uh-huh, boom. I think I still die from fall damage. I think like you actually die here. So like if you're low health, you may not want to take the risk of uh, doing a delayed jump down here. Boom. Oh, well, it looks like uh, it doesn't take a lot. So boom, you continue and you complete the level as such, right? By the way, uh, after I showed the original route, you know, going to that button on the lava floor, you can fast forward and go to the, like the boss level. But I'm just showing the intended route, you know, just in case you die, which sometimes you will during a run. Boom, you good, you beat the level. Make sure you spam your dialogues, etc. And then the boss door, uh, well, that's been open, but like the lava's not there, so you're good. Now, if you're low health here, uh, I'll, I'll tell you when we get there. Be careful of this elevator right here as well because there's an elevator that comes up and kind of screws you. So I double jump past the elevator and I slam, but you know, you see the elevator still was there. So boom. And now what you want to do here is if you have enough health, cut the corner and like fall down. But if you don't, um, you know, you got to wait for the elevator to come down. And so you don't have to destroy those boxes, but um, the boss is going to be a little bit hard with lower health. But what you want to do here is you want to get close to the boss and you want to bait these moves out. Right? So you, you don't want to die like I did there. But boom, bait these moves out. Right? Bait them out. Don't die though. Make sure you bait them out. 
good. Boom. Yep. And then three times. I'm just being conservative because I don't, I don't got health. And then he's gonna do the slamming, right? And while he's doing the slamming, you can go find health and, and meter or one or the other, either health or meter. And then you want to go back in front because he's going to do this. Then you want slow-mo slash and then hit him in the slow-mo with the X attack, strong attack. And now he's dying. And now while he's dying, you want to get the rest of the stuff you need, right? Health, meter, etc. Um, you can take a risk here and you can hug that wall right there. And uh, you don't have to wait for this. Or, well, actually, maybe you don't. You can't even take the risk there. Boom. Boom. Gonna bait it out again. Just show you again. And hopefully not die. Boom. Make sure you bait out attacks, right? Be right in front of him. So that so he, like, doesn't have to move. See, like, he, he, he moves there, right? Boom. Boom. And now he's gonna do the slammy. Now you can collect health and the, and the stuff. There's that. Got the meter and the armor there. Wait for this. Boom, he's dead. Collect the rest of the stuff, health, etc. And I mean, I'm sure you can stand over here. Yeah, like right here. And then you continue on to uh, World 4, and you'll be at 4-0 after this, right? And there's, there's a cutscene here. You wait for this cutscene, and then the boss the boss level stats will pop up at the end of this cutscene, right? And then we'll be going to 4-1. Or, well, not 4-1, but 4-0, but starting World... Uh, World 4, which by the way, we skip the entirety of World 4. We don't go in 4 1, nothing. And, um, I mean, it's not an easy skip, but it's, but it's, but it's there, right? So, cutscene is ending. It gives you the results screen. I wanted to show you guys the results screen, but, um, I accidentally skipped over it. And this is 4 0. Let's go to World 4 now.